here, little Gracie, my little princess. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? Huh? Yep, I gotta check something. See if we got some Thanksgiving. Yep. 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 Well, Gracie, we got a couple of selections here. And both of them are looking to, to me like they're a little bit small. I don't know. But I, I think these here turkeys got shrunk. What do you think? Huh? That's what I think, too. Neither of them are very big this year. But it's all Papa can come up with. So they'll just have to do. Oh, well hey there friends and family. So good to see you here in the country kitchen. Yeah, well Gracie was here in the kitchen with me. So I guess y'all just didn't knock or nothing, just barged right on in. Well, you know, you're always welcome, but you take me. How you find me? And I was just looking over our selections of what we're going to have for our Thanksgiving this year. Which this being November the 13th ain't too far away. So come on over. Let me show you what I got. And let's talk about it a bit. Okay? What do you got to say for yourself? Huh? Just let them walk right on in, won't you? Huh. Okay. I don't know. You may not be getting treats tonight. We'll just have to see. Okay. <laughs> She's my darling. Loves me to death and I love her. And of course I'm just joking. So y'all. Sorry for that. We're just sort of kind of kidding. But there is a serious side to this. And uh, once I go over what we're thinking about doing here. Because I mean it's just old Mr. Tom here. This year for Thanksgiving. Well that and the kitty crew. So I've got two choices. You know I've got this here. Which you know I'm joking around saying they shrunk the turkey. But it's actually a premium. Cornish hen from Tyson and I enjoy these from time to time and I picked this up a while back I think I gave a little bit over oh two dollars for it I looked up on walmart.com one of these now run you 312 of course that's if you can find it and that's something we're going to be talking about the next thing I got here has got me a butterball turkey breast roast boneless all breast meat now I'm not sure what they mean by turkey breast roast and that whether it's one of those form things you know or whether it's actual breast meat but don't care we can still make it tasty with some sides and what have you and I gave back in the day this three pounds oh I gave six dollars and something I looked this up on walmart.com today which is linked to my hometown Towsie Walmart and it was ten dollars and forty two cents that's pretty extreme considering oh I bought this back last year to have for something I like to cook these up with nothing more for some tasty sandwich meat oh yeah or I have a dish that I make with potatoes and all that slice this all up after I cook it put in between the layers 
make up one of those creamy white sauces. Woo, dog, that's good. But what we'll probably do for me and the Kitty Crew this year is we'll have this turkey roast and we'll save Cornish Game Head for another day. Or I might make both of them. Who knows? Got a lot of kitties to feed. But yeah, you know, in a way we've all heard about shrink inflation and that's real. But as it is now, at least they haven't really shrunk the turkeys. And that. What was an interesting fact that I found out doing some research on turkey availability and why some places in the country don't have turkeys which I'll be talking about my local area right here and my local Walmart a uh, little bit later I actually take you not to Walmart but to walmart.com and show you what I found out and I haven't checked Superfoods yet which I'll be going to next week probably Wednesday or Thursday of course it might be Tuesday or Wednesday and I'm thinking about if y'all are good taking you along. But no, I'm uh, doing my own kind of shrink inflation for this Thanksgiving. All my life. Ever since I can remember, my family always had big old turkey on Thanksgiving. I carried on that tradition every year. And just like my parents, somehow I was able to get a turkey even in the toughest years. Yeah. I might have been eating peanut butter sandwiches at work and that, but somehow I always seemed to come up with the money. My family always made the holiday special. Because in all honesty, every other day was not going to be. They made a birthday special, Thanksgiving, Christmas especially. Other holidays was like Memorial Day and Labor Day. Other than that, it was school and get down to work and make life happen. It's just the way things were back then. From the time you could do something, like myself, from the time I was six, I was beside my daddy working. Whether it was in the gardens, spare jobs, or what have you. You know, he'd take any type of spare work to make a buck. And as soon as I was up of age, like say six, well, I was in there too. Beside the old man, no matter where we went, no matter what kind of weather. Freezing cold to blistering heat. Soaking wet. Whether it was from... Rain and thunderstorms are soaked with sweat. It's just the way life was back then. And we all complain so much now. But no, I made a decision this year. Rather than go buy a whole turkey just for little old me and the kitty crew, which I could have done. I'm sure I could have found one. And all of that may still find one. And if I got any freezer space available and they're a decent price, I may buy one. Probably wait till after Thanksgiving. Because that's when they go on sale. But I decided I was going to downsize my own Thanksgiving feast. And I was either going to have the Cornish game hen or the turkey breast roast. You know, I'll still make all the sides. So that means this little old man and the kitty crew will have several meals off of it. But that was my conscious decision. And in making that, not because probably ain't no turkeys around here nowhere, was because I needed to. Didn't feel like putting a bunch up, freezing it. Didn't feel like last year eating it for a week and a half. And there's just the money aspect of it. It's winter time now. You see me. I got my hoodie on. Because it's 
Supposed to get down to 31 tonight, believe it or not. Yep. And I still ain't turned the heat on. I may have to. Come morning. Just have to see whether I'm shivering or not. But, yeah. Apologize for the little joke. They didn't shrink the turkey. Mr. Tom shrinking it this year. So, what I mean, I was going to show you. Well, I got to take you on in the den, super secret location at the command desk. And I was looking around. Because last time I went with Superfoods, I didn't see no turkeys. I'm not saying they didn't have them, but they weren't out where I could just readily pick up on them. I'm going to be going this week to check out indeed if there are any available. But I did go on Walmart.com, which if you've ever used it, whether it's for pickup or ordering for delivery at your home, it always asks you for your uh, zip code. And then it brings up stores nearest to you, which we only got one. That's our Tallahassee Walmart, which is the one that I selected. And now whether I'm going to order online or do a pickup order, that's the one it takes me to. And I found out an interesting thing. So why don't we go on in? We'll chat a little more tonight. If you don't mind. Okay? You got the time, I got the time. And like I say, since you barged on in, didn't knock or nothing, you take me how you find me. It's been a long day. I don't know if you noticed, but it's dark outside. Yep. It's... 6.51 at night. It ain't gonna be long. I'll have to make up some dinner. Come on. Let's check something out before I let you go, okay? So y'all, here we are. In the super secret command center. Where I keep track of everything that I want to know about. For, uh, you know, my friends, my family, my children, and my grandson. And what you might be looking at right now is walmart.com you can see up there in the left hand corner the Tallahassee Super Center well that's what they call it but it's actually a neighborhood market here in Tallahassee Super Center has tires and automotive and all that we don't have that but I was looking today just checking on the availability at our Walmart reason being because so many people that I've seen all over our great nation, you know, they've been coming on saying they didn't have turkeys. Of course, here again, that's primarily Walmart and other big box groceries. You know, Costco, Sam's, and what have you. So I wanted to go check and see if our local area, Walmart, had any too. Which this is where I would go, as you can see right up here, pickup and shipping, you know, where I would go to do a pickup order. So I was looking on down and everything. And the first one up the bat here was this here Shady Brook Farms. Frozen whole turkey, pre brined. And I'll say this right now. If you've never brined a turkey, ooh lordy, you are missing out. I do that every year now, if I think about it. Some years I don't. And like my mama, my grandmother, my great-grand, they were all big butterball people. And from time to time, I tend to be that way too. I will say it. I've ate a few Jenny O's in my time too. But let's click on the ag right here. And you'll see what it says. Unable to add to cart. Sorry. This is, item is out of stock. Please check back later. Okay. Well, I'm sure that would have been pricey anyway. So, then we got here Butterball Premium All Natural. It clearly says right down here at the bottom. Yep, out of stock. Then we're going to go down here to Jenny O. Jenny O. Frozen Hen Young Turkeys. 
10 to 24.5 pounds out of stock. Then they got Jenny O frozen young turkey, 16 to 39 pounds. Yep, out of stock. And then they got Jenny O turkey, frozen hens. Here again, 10 to 16 pounds, out of stock. Then they got over here a butterball farm to family, frozen young turkey, no antibiotics. Let's check on that. Nope, it's out of stock too. So we just continue down. This one's one of those in a bag. It's a fresh one. You may have seen them in Walmart. And I've actually bought one of these from time or two in years past. See if they got any of them. Nope, they ain't got none of them in my towel seat. Walmart. Or, just like it says here, Butterball Natural Young Turkey, out of stock. Honeysuckle. And I have bought that from a time or two, and I might add, it's turned out just fine. It's out of stock, both of them. Butterball All Natural Premium Young Turkey. Fresh. 10 to 16 pounds, out of stock. Now they do have a fresh honeysuckle here. Don't say nothing. Let's check on it. Nope. Sorry. This item is out of stock. Well, there we have it. Now they got the Honest Turkey. Antibiotic free, frozen whole turkey, pre brined. 10 to 17 pounds. It's out of stock, too. So, as you can see, our one little Walmart we have. Here in my little small town in the deep south, Tallahassee, Alabama, seems to be slap out of turkeys. Yeah. So thankfully, it's a good thing last year I bought that there turkey breast roast and that Cornish game hen. Because it would appear if I depended like so many of Americans. I mean, here's a fact Walmart dominates the grocery industry now. It actually is 80%, I want you to think about this, of the total grocery market now. Oh my God, they're the behemoth in the room. And we all know about supply chain issues. And I'm not talking about all the container ships of 100 or more now off of West Coast California. Seriously, I don't think there's any turkeys in there because I checked. And we don't currently import, as far as I can find, from the USDA or any other source, turkeys from China. And they got their own problems. And they're pretty much keeping as much food as they possibly can for themselves and their own population of published is 1.6 billion. And if I had to guess, you know, they're just like we are, undocumented immigrants. They're probably around 2 billion, all truth be told. But, it's like I said, I was thinking about going to uh, Superfoods this coming week. Need to pick up a few things. Not a whole lot. And not that I'll buy a turkey, because I think I have a solid plan for just me and the kitty crew, you know, Gracie. Cleo, Speedy Spooky, sometimes El Rod and Magoo. I think I got enough for us to get through the holiday. And then, maybe, I'll wait till after the holiday and just wander around again. Soup foods. I might go to CarMax, Piggly Wiggly over there in Electric, you know, the pig, and see if you know, anybody's got any turkeys. And if indeed, they'll put them on sale. Because primarily what I've been doing this year, which is one of the big reasons I didn't garden too, was that's got too much stacked up from last year. And I need to be eating it. And that's what I've been concentrating on. And that was the reason for just putting in the one little old garden bed. Which, in the morning, I will see whether it survived or not. But the sad fact about things for most American families now, those living right at the poverty line or under it, they ain't had no choice this year. 
but to either go without or slim way back on their Thanksgiving feast. And in my mind, that's a sad fact. Because this is the one holiday of the year that we celebrate here in America that it's all about celebrating the bounty and God's gifts that he has given us from the bounty of our earth here on the planet he created. You know, Christmas being when we give thanks for the ultimate sacrifice. You know, the birth of his son, one and only begotten son. So I want you to think about that. And I want you to think about this if you have the means. And I know many of y'all are on fixed income, social security like I am. Might have a little bit of savings, getting a little bit of nothing from them. But if you got your Thanksgiving feast covered, and maybe you got a little extra, and maybe if you drive around and paid attention, you don't got to go drive to a food bank where you don't know who's going to get it and who they are and what they do and whether they truly need it. That's one thing I'll say. There are a whole bunch of people I've seen here on YouTube that I've caught going to food banks, and I've called a few of them out, and they know who they are. They account for some of the thumbs down on my videos. Now, I'm all fine with that because it don't even mean nothing. Thumbs up, thumbs down, all counts the same to the YouTube logarithm. But they didn't have no reason to be at that food bank. And in my mind, if somebody's in that position and they could go buy it if they really needed it or wanted it and they're at a food bank in line, in my mind, they're knocking some other needy family out of it. Because in years prior, every year, the food banks are always struggling to provide for needy families especially during the holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, Easter, you know. I've contributed to our little local food bank that's run by the Christian Men's Society, Acts. And I know many around here do. But something else I've done in years past is right here in my neighborhood. Not so far from me. A couple of blocks or more. I know families. That are struggling. And without letting them even know. I've. You know done the right thing. I didn't know whether they needed it or not. And it really didn't matter. But if you find yourself with a little extra money. And all that. And a little extra time where you can drive around. You'll know them when you see them. You might already know. A couple, a family. That's struggling. Lost their jobs. Or it's just. They don't make squat. And they're struggling to feed their family. If you can find a turkey. And the things that go along with it. You know. Things that you'll be having things make that old green bean casserole that fine dressing or stuffing corn casserole or what have you giblet gravy you'll put that all together and you'll just drop it off anonymously knock on the door and run away like old Miss Tom's done in the past and I'm going to tell you what. Not only have you provided a blessing to a family. You will provide a blessing to yourself. And I'll be it. That should not be the only reason for doing it. But when I do things like that. And I've been criticized for it in the past. They'll say, well. They dug themselves in that own hole. Are they on drugs? Are they alcoholics? Or what have you? 
which I don't know that to be a fact, and neither do the distractors. And I often say, I don't do it so much for them, even though it benefits them greatly. And hell, they can take it out and sell it for all I care. It made me feel good. And my Father God knows I did it with the right intent. And that's just a closing thought for all of y'all out there. Because I know some of you may have a little bit of mo more than the little old man here. And many of you don't. And I know you'll be just like me sometimes, thinking I wish I had, that I'd won the lottery. And I had millions of dollars. I've often thought what I would do. And I think I would. Well, I know I would. I wouldn't be living in no mansion and wouldn't have a super yacht. But I'd be finding those people that needed it more than I did. So in closing, if you're struggling, you're having to make cutbacks, living on a fixed income, or maybe you're working two or three jobs, and I feel for you. Because my life has not always been that way. But I'm right there in there with you. And you and I, with great faith and perseverance, will survive. Our parents did. Our grandparents. Our great-grands. And great-great-grands. So with all that said, I do hope you're able to find some turkeys and everything you need to put together your Thanksgiving feast this year. And like I say, if there's extra, try to make it special for someone else that may not. So until I, Gracie, Cleo, Speedy, Spooky, sometimes I'll ride my goose, see you on the next video. Y'all take care out there. Stay safe. God bless each and every one of you as you bless others. Goodbye for now.